Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and this this is Peanut. <laughs> I'm sorry he's in your way, but I can't really do that much about him. He just he has decided to stay put in one place and apparently not move. Huh. <sighs> well I'm back again with an anime review and I recently watched a, a movie called Eve No Jinkin and uh Another translation for it is Time No Eve, or The Time of Eve, and um, the movie itself is just a compilation of uh, the OVA, which is six, uh, six chapters, and you've got two characters involved. You've got Rikuo and Matsune, and Rikuo is a character who has an android, or they're known as Hauseroids. And the only way you can distinguish a hauseroid from a human being is the fact that they have a halo over their heads, a data halo. And when they're just wandering around, normally it's red, and when they're acknowledging something, they turn green, and they uh, execute their commands, whatever their command might be. Uh, it's a very intriguing series, and it also involves some rather existential questions, <laughs> like uh, any uh, series or uh, story would that involves uh, that of androids. Um, <laughs> my cat is insane. Anyway, um, it's uh, really an incredible series and uh, it left a lot of questions in the air though at the very end which I really didn't care for but uh, I love uh, series that have these sorts of deep philosophical questions that are posed as well as um, the whole idea of um, technology coming to this point which it very well could and um, if it did how would we handle it would we have an ethics committee like they had involved in, in this particular anime um, there was an incident that occurred um, I'm not going to say what it is but it's uh, really labyrinthine in, in the way that they describe uh, certain things and uh, the, the technique that they used for it for uh, the animation it made it seem more realistic uh, it, it kind of reminded me of perfect blue and the fact that you feel like you're um, involved with uh, all the action that's taking place like, uh, like you are a uh, <clears throat> a viewer of whatever activity is occurring and um, it's um, very unique in the way it's done it, it felt very um, actual and factual even if it is animated they had a lot of their um, objects that were three-dimensional but you couldn't really tell because everything is so seamless and um, basically the whole story begins with Ritsuko and Ritsuko he has a house roid named Sammy and he has been looking through her, her logs as he uh, plugs into her database I know this sounds kind of uh, dirty doesn't it? <laughs> yeah um, he plugs his cell phone into her, her database and looks over her logs and one of the logs uh, reads, are you enjoying uh, the time of Eve? And the time of Eve is this um, cafe. And uh, what's interesting about the cafe is um, androids and human beings are all welcome. It doesn't matter whether they're an older uh, android version like uh, the house roids that existed when um, Risiko and Matsune were just kindergartners. And they're very clunky and uh, kind of Cyberman-esque, for lack of a better word. Just uh, your typical robot um, prototype. Very metallic and uh, not very human at all. And uh, the androids actually, uh, they look exactly like humans, except they have to go in for maintenance once a month. And uh, they uh, make sure that all their parts are working and uh, the their uh, interfaces are uh, functional 
and it's just a really uh, fascinating anime. It's probably one of the best I've seen since Armitage or Chobit. It's reminded, it really reminds me of Armitage and Chobits, and more of Chobits than, than anything else, and um, like Mahochromatic, and uh, just all the different stories that I've seen involving that sort of idea. It, it gets really deep and it just asks a lot of questions that uh, otherwise would not get uh, asked and this makes you think quite a bit and it made me think quite a bit about how what we perceive as human and uh, how far are we willing to go with our technology and everything is, actually this takes place in the not too distant future according to uh, the description on the uh, the box and on Wikipedia um, and everything is electronic uh, the interface in the cafe even it's electronic they have a holographic device they just press a button and they can order whatever they want which I thought was really really awesome and even the screens in the, in the background it's uh, made to look like a butterfly conservatory um, it's really quite really quite beautiful all the animation is just really uh, crisp and uh, glorious and really is a work of art. This is some of the best animation I've seen in a long time. A good integration of 2D and 3D uh, rendering and, uh, makes it look very seamless and uh, like it would actually exist in the real world. And uh, we, we are uh, given a backstory to uh, Matsune and his, his father and I'm not going to reveal anything about that because it's a huge plot point but uh, there are a lot of questions that are left up in the air and um, I read on Wikipedia that there is a second season in the works. I hope they do because I would really love to see what happens next with uh, the ethics committee and um, where they go, um, how things were censored about uh, this incident uh, during the very beginning of the, um, the film itself, they, they talk about it, but it's, it's very shrouded in um, <laughs> obscurity, and they like occlude everything. It's very covert, and it's almost like they're hiding something, and I'm not sure what. They didn't really reveal as to what, they kind of give you a glimpse as to what happened and who was involved, and you kind of piece those things together, but it's, it's just uh, really, really, <laughs> twisty sort of uh, uh, interlinking uh, incidences that uh, occur and uh, <clears throat> it's really a great anime I really love it and the uh, the song at the end is really really unbelievable it's just it's beautiful and <clears throat> I, I don't know why they decided to do an anime and then the uh, the movie because they just they could have gotten away with it's the movie, but the the movie according to Wikipedia got quite a few um, <clears throat> rewards in the children's festival that was featured and I can see why because it's just really it's extremely profound and I I love all the characters involved they're they're very intriguing uh, the androids in and of themselves and. When, when they're in the cafe, you, you can't tell because um, the first rule of the, the cafe is no discrimination. And it talks about Asimov's three robot laws. And if you've read iRobot, then you know what I'm talking about. That they, they go along there with, uh, you know, the robot laws don't say anything about lying. So, you know, robot relies on logic and it, it, go, it gets into a lot of logic and uh, how uh, logic uh, machine uh, machine logic is uh, related in, in many ways, especially when this older house Rory comes in and it's really kind of uh, tragic uh, scene with that particular um, uh, model. It, it's just sad. I mean, I, I got I was crushed. Uh, actually, the that scene got me, and another one with um, Tex, and I'm not gonna talk that much about text but he he's very important as well as he, he reveals quite a bit about his um, master uh, and then how uh, the, the protocol of uh, which protocol the uh, androids will actually respond to it's um, very intriguing because because they they will um, they they respond to um, 
parents rather than children because uh, the parents are the, the ones that are re they're responsible and um, then the children they, they don't really have that uh, ability which I think is just sad I mean couldn't couldn't a child be able to override a parent's command apparently not according to this series but it's not a series excuse me it's a movie that's the just the um, the compilation of the of OVA itself but it just uh, that that was very intriguing I, I thought that was a different kind of twist on the whole um, who who has the uh, ability to have control of these uh, machines um, and uh, how how um, <laughs> how far are we willing to go with with our technology what what do you consider human and then all these other questions that just make your brain want to explode uh, <laughs> truly um, just an awesome series and it's, it's, it's sad that it's short but if you have a chance to see it and if you like um, driving your brain crazy then this is the series for you because it'll really make you think and I enjoy that <laughs> so two thumbs up for Eve Nojinkin or Time of Eve